first things first. I was, I was observing when I came That's in, right? right? Um, if, if you guys don't have a certain level of respect for yourself, nobody's going to respect you. Regardless of whether you have 80s, 90s, or whatever. I, I'm, I can tell you that because I was a future ACES. I graduated in 1995 from Mark Gardner Collegiate. Right? I'm a future ASIN. So I know what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you that no matter what your grades are, if you don't have respect for yourself, nobody's not going to respect you. And that's a guarantee. Whether it's a police officer, whether it's friends, whether it's, whether it's people at your workplace. Everything that you do is a reflection of your ancestors. What we're here to talk about today is the importance of Moorish history and the fact that black and African history is Moorish history. So when we talk about black history, usually we're going back to slavery era. If you do your research before the slavery era, you'll find out that there's no black people before the slavery era. So if you go back to any time after, any time before slavery, there was no such thing as a black person. Like it didn't exist. When you look up, like how many people seen the Malcolm X movie with Denzel Washington? What, what, what happened in the jail scene when they were going through the dictionary? Man, that was in grade six. <laughs> Remember? I remember in jail, and then um, they took him into like somewhere and he was talking to him. All right. That's the only part I remember. So what they were doing was they were going through the dictionary, and they were seeing what white means in the dictionary, and yeah. what black means in the dictionary. And black in the dictionary meant everything negative, and white in the dictionary meant everything good. That's not racism. But that's real. Because if this water here was black, would you drink it? No. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Does it look good? It would be dirty. Right. It would be dirty. Okay. But, but we're black people. Why wouldn't we drink black water? Yeah. Just to put things in perspective. It feels brown. <laughs> if the water was brown, would you drink it? Yeah, I have chocolate milk. <laughs> Maybe you want it. Chocolate milk is milk. Yeah, okay, so it was just brown water. If it was just brown water, would you drink it? No. Nah. Alright, if it was black water, would you drink it? If it had no flavor? No. So, if it was just coloring. So if this, just, if, this, if this was black in this, in this bottle. You guys know what he's trying to say, man. You guys wouldn't drink it, right? Nah, I wouldn't drink it. I wouldn't drink it, man. You wouldn't look twice at it, bro. Trust me. No matter what the taste is, you wouldn't drink it. Right? So why is it that we're not going to drink black water? But we're not going to eat a black fruit, because the black fruit is spoiled, right? But we're going to call ourselves black people. That's true stuff. Mm -hmm. That's true stuff. Right? <laughs> let's, let's put other things in perspective. So this man's shirt is black, and my shirt's black, and his sweater's black, and his shoes are black, and that chair's black, and I don't see nobody in here that looks like none of that stuff. Even the darkest person doesn't look like that. Why? Um, Are we black people? No. Are you say brown? I get some brown skin so because. All right, so you're brown skin. So if we go to, if we go to, if we um, say we, city pulse, doing doing some news thing about robbery that just happened, and the dude looks like this brother. They're gonna say he's black, right? Black, yeah. yeah. They're gonna say a black young man. Yeah. Yeah. Or a right. male. Yeah. Yeah. No, You're in Canada, bro. Or, 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 or whatever. Most of the time. Most of the time they'll say black. Never heard that. Right? But if you go to Danny Leather and there's a jacket that looks like him, <laughs> are you gonna call him a black jacket? No. Right. Okay. Yeah, like a can or something. So, so how come the jacket? isn't identified as black when it's brown, but when we're brown, they want to call us black people. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, and if you ask 
If you ask anybody else, you're not hearing Chinese people celebrating Yellow History Month. Alright, Chinese New Year. Exactly, they say Chinese New Year. They're not talking about Yellow New Year. So, the same way that the same way that we're yeah, laughing at stuff. Chinese people if they call themselves yellow, think about how people laugh at us. Because they're, they're never going to laugh in our face because they know black people kick ass. Oh, okay. They know black people shoot up people. They know black people rush people. They know black people don't. Black people defend things. So they're not going to tell you certain things to your face. That's true. And they're not going to laugh in your face, but they'll laugh behind closed doors at you. Even though you have 80s or 90s, and you have a future aces, and you have a plaque in your house that says, I'm a future ace, right? So it starts with you respecting yourself. And the only way you can really respect yourself is to know your history. Because the Asian man knows his history. That he's going to come up here, and he's going to open up a store, and he's going to serve everybody. <laughs> And we can go right across the street right now, and there's a Sri Lankan store over there. There's probably like 50 Sri Lankan stores going right up, right up Markham. And all of them are in there serving everybody. We're going to go to Soon Lee over there. And Soon Lee's going to be serving everybody. And we're going to go right up to the corner. They're going to have a West Indian store with some Indians running it. Some Hindu people. And then they're going to have a little thing of an elephant on, behind them, right? And nobody's not going to be even considering that, how come these guys worship an elephant? But they're going to go to the store and they're going to shop at that store. And those people are going to go to the bank at the end of the week and they're going to have a bank account that has like six digits in there. And you're going to be a future ace and you're going to get a job and you're going to be sitting next to somebody who's a diverse nationality to you, and they're going to have a Benz, and their wife's going to have a car, and then their, their son or daughter is going to have a little Hyundai or whatever. Prime, prime, prime. One disclaimer. Um, because with the, I know one thing you have to say a statement, just to digress. That, um, I don't think you meant it, but I think I forgot to disclaim it, that for Hindu people, the elephant is actually a very important meaning. It means a symbol of wisdom. Right. So we have to be careful because right. for Hindus, it's an extremely important um, god. It's called Ganesh. And so that's why I do that yeah. disclaimer. We don't want to create like, an environment where people don't feel comfortable. Well, it's not. Okay. No, I'm going to say no. But seriously, for Hindus, it's extremely important. And I had to make that, that statement. So don't, don't misinterpret things. Basically, when, when we start going through the information, because there are going to be some things that you might hear about and see about, and you might think that it doesn't apply to you, but everything applies to you. Because you are the founders of civilization. And everybody else knows that except you, for some strange reason. And that strange reason is because we want to identify ourselves as things that we're not, like black people and brown people. And we want to say that. Jesus Christ is our savior and our European on the wall when we don't look like that. And if we were created in God's image, how come God doesn't look like us? You know what I'm saying? Right? So, the importance of identity. Blackamore is a noun. And the definition of a blackamore is a stylized Negro any person with dark skin, especially one from Northern Africa, and how it breaks it down is black is the adjective and more is a noun. And they call us black people because we're in darkness mentally. Darkness mentally, like our mentality or? Yeah. Oh, no, you're invisible. Oh, no. Right? That's what I'm gonna check, man. They call us minority because we have the mentality of minors, and a minor is a child. They don't call us minority because 
of numbers. Like we're in low numbers. They call us minority because we're minors. And in law, a minor is called a ward. W-A-R-D. That's why a warden is in charge of jails. Because a warden is the person who looks after wards. Right? So the purpose of the presentation is to show us the importance of identifying identifying ourselves as who we are so that we can get some respect when we go out into the world, when we get out of the classroom and we, we're not in Mr. Lewin's class where we're protected by our blackness, that we can go out there and exercise the same things that, that he says to exercise in this classroom and get somewhere and not be chased away because somebody else thinks that we're a nigger or because we're walking with our pants down here thinking that that's the style, right? When that's really like homo stuff. <laughs> Yo, my class was at my wrist. Yeah, Nobody right? said anything oh. about you. <laughs> just Look at that me like, Yo. So, black. So we already know that we're not black. So open the window, dash that outside, because we're not black people, right? Somebody brought up African Canadian. Okay, we're not African because there was a Roman general by the name of Scipio Africanus and Scipio Africanus was a general in the Second Punic War and he, he fought or he was, he defeated a Moor by the name of Hannibal, Hannibal Barca. When Hannibal Barca invaded Europe, he rode elephants across the Alps. So he was on an elephant, riding an elephant, just like Hindu people, when you see them, they ride elephants. He rode elephants across the Alps. Everybody know what the Alps are? Anybody heard about the Alps before? <coughs> What's the Alps? All right. Road, he rode elephants across mountains. Brother, that looks just like your brothers in here. And a Roman by the name of Scipio Africanus <coughs> defeated him in the Second Punic War. And the name Africa comes from Scipio Africanus. Because whenever they conquer our territory, as far as on the continent, they would attach that Africanus to their name. So if you look up Africanus, it will show you like a list, listen, listen, list of all these people that conquered so-called black people. And because they conquered them, they called them Africanus. And the region that Scipio African, Africanus conquered was the northern part of Africa. And that's why Africa is named after Africa because it's really only the northern part that's called Africa. The part that he conquered. The whole thing's not called Africa. So if you go on YouTube, there's this, there's this thing on YouTube with a Chinese man that came from China and went to so-called South Africa and he's fighting the fact that they're calling him a black person. Chinese man. <laughs> He's arguing. Why are they calling me a black person? I don't want to be called a black person. So if he so if they're calling him a black person, then being black or white has nothing to do with your skin complexion. It has to do with your status. And because he's from China and he chose to go somewhere else to do business that was conquered by Romans that we call today Europeans, he's labeled a black person and he's upset about that. It, like that that's that's big news.